what is going on guys big video for you today got the uh got all my brake shit in man stainless steel lines racing brake fluid new new pads and new rotors so let's start with what kind of lines i bought Got the uh, got the AMS shit, and uh, that's what we got right here. good looking lines um, again AMS is known for quality so I got these at a good deal um, you can buy whatever you want you can get AMS you could get whatever other design uh, whatever other company that makes stainless steel lines it doesn't matter they're all pretty much the same shit just don't get cheap junk I found a good deal on these I bought these and that's what I'm gonna install on Nismo hopefully they will get on the car and I won't have any you know Nismo problems of where you try to push shit on and the car is different and it don't fit so fingers crossed that this shit's gonna fit got that and Motul 660 whatever synthetic brake fluid for racing <laughs> yeah so that's that we're gonna get this shit on the car right now i got my father here uh we're gonna bang it out we're gonna bleed out the brakes properly get it all done um i don't suggest you do this by yourself okay changing lines and then bleeding brakes is a two-man job and you need to know what you're doing if you leave any if you don't bleed the brakes properly and you leave air in there it's going to compromise your braking and that could lead to accidents and even death depending on what the fuck you know so bring it to a professional unless you're a professional like we are if you're not if you're just like a sunday warrior doing your own stuff don't do it bring it to somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing have them do it properly so you have a great you know you have great braking and you have a safe car because brakes are very important bleeding them all is very important so don't do this by yourself let somebody that knows what they're doing properly do it for you better yet go to a gtr shop have them do it so we're gonna get that done um and then i'm gonna get on the way to uh well i'm gonna show you when we finish and then i'm gonna pops is gonna leave and i'm gonna take apart the uh the rotors and the uh, take you know take about take calipers off, take the pads out of the calipers, and we're gonna change out the rotors, and I'm gonna show you the rotors and all that stuff. So it's gonna be epic. Good ass video coming your way, guys. Let's do this. All right, work's on the way. We got the lines off, got the calipers off. Now, let me show you what. Uh, what we got that's special um check it out linie all right so rotors and brakes we got from racingbrake.com we got their OEM two piece lightweight lightweight kit the lightest ones they have um, came with the XT 910 pads I believe they said those pads are good low dust uh, very minimal noise and great stopping capabilities and the rotors let me show you these rotors
Bam! Look at it. This shit's so big it don't even fit in the camera. Look at that bad boy. Mmm, mmm. That's delicious looking in it. So, this is a nice rotor, man. I've looked this over before, you know, starting the video. And you guys know me. If I find something I don't like, I'm going to open my mouth. These look perfect. Um, we're going to get them on the car shortly to make sure it all fits and shit. But, these are some nice, nice looking rotors um racing brake guys over there you done good with this thing this is this is a sweet sweet rotor for the gtr folks at home now this rotor or all my rotors um the uh the the stud holes are 14.5 millimeters because the Nismo studs are 14 millimeters. Your regular GTRs are going to be 12. So if you got a GTR Nismo and you want to purchase these rotors, then you are going to tell them that you have a Nismo and you want them to be 14.5 millimeter cut so they go, you know, on your shit properly. Let me show you the rear one. rear rotor again nice quality super nice quality got that iron ring in the um, on the inside so you um, you retain your emergency brake because that's important you know you want your emergency brake you want to keep you want to keep everything on your car working you know, if you get rotors and you lost your emergency brake, I don't know why you even bought them for. So, these, awesome. You retain your emergency brake. Um, they're pretty, pretty light. I'm actually, I'm actually going to weigh these, and I'm going to weigh the ones I took off to make sure, you know, legit, how much weight am I shaving off the rotors. So, yeah, man. Take a good look. super super nice rotors man this is some this is some grade a shit right here so like i said i don't see anything wrong with them um i think we got one of these bitches on the car already and it fit on perfectly so yeah these are good these are good rotors they fitting good right now <coughs> So yeah, I think that's it. Y'all seen the rotors? Everything's good. They look great. We're gonna get them on the car. Um, I'm obviously gonna drive it for a little while and I'm gonna give you my final review on when it's all done. And uh, I'll let you know how I feel about them. We're gonna, get it, uh, we're gonna get it all on the car. We're gonna button her up. We're gonna bleed the brakes and I'm gonna do a little walk around to show you how everything looks and stuff so let's get to it um racing brakes double thumbs up this is real nice real nice product especially for the price um the only the only way this would be better is if you know this aluminum hat oh by the way this is an aluminum hat your stock gtr hats on the rear are steel not cool if you ever notice they rust these won't aluminum in the front aluminum in the rear another reason why i got rid i got rid of the stock stuff because i didn't really like the the, the steel in the rear because it rust is just stupid and these are a lot lighter because it's aluminum not steel head um 
Yeah. Racing brakes. If you guys ever, I don't know how you do it, but if you give me this hat and a carbon ceramic rotor wheel for like six or seven grand, that would be ideal. As you all know, I think carbon ceramic rotors are way overpriced. $10,000 for all four corners is stupid money. I'm not ever going to spend that kind of money on rotors. So, yeah. Race and brakes, man. Make it happen. I don't care what you do, man. Uh, sign some shit. Talk to some people. Fucking get, you know, get, get the carbon ceramic wheels. Get, the, get them done, man. And sell them to the people for six, seven grand. I bet you money you will you will sell out of those fucking things if they're going to be six, seven grand. People can afford them now, and it actually is going to make sense. You know, you're shaving you're shaving fifty plus pounds off the car, but you're spending you know seven grand. Not bad, you know. For these, you know, you spend three and you shave twenty. So, you know what I'm saying, like. Be a company for the people, man. I know I know it's a whole problem with these carbon ceramics and not a whole lot of people got their foot in the door yet. But yeah, if it's any way possible, and I know it's gonna happen someday, but make carbon ceramic rotors, man, and sell them for six, seven grand. They're gonna they're gonna fly off the shelves, man. So that's the only way these rotors would be better. Um, yeah, you know, if, if they're carbon ceramic and they're ten grand, then they're not better. But if you make them seven, you know, six, seven thousand dollars for all four corners with the brakes, that would be ideal. I will be the first one to buy them off of you. So, anyway, that's my two cents. Let's get to the let's get to the install. Let's figure how all this shit works, how all it fits. And uh, we'll catch you later. All right, guys. Rears are done. Check that out. Rotor went perfectly in the studs. We got all it is buttoned up right here. And uh, I don't know if you could see, but there's the, uh, no, of course you can't see. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. But uh, yeah, here's the, uh, there's the stainless steel line. Check the other side. All coming together pretty good. Coming together pretty good. Looking pretty sweet. You know, I love the uh, I love the aluminum hat. That's uh, I'm guessing anodized black, and obviously these won't be black once we break them in. But still, I mean, it's going to be perfect because now my Nismo wheels that are aluminum are going to sit on here perfectly, and nothing's going to rust. So it's pretty uh, pretty great. Pops is over there hooking up hooking up the front end while I tie up while I tie up the uh, the rears. So. Let's get the front done, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when that's all finished. 
progress in the house. Check it. Looks nice, right? Got the fronts in. Everything lined up perfectly. Everything went in perfectly, man. I've got no complaints. So, racing brake rotor kit assembled perfectly. We got the... We got the stainless steel lines over there. Right here. Yeah, I can't see again. God damn it. Maybe maybe we'll see on the other side. But yeah. Pretty badass. New uh new 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 pads, new rotors. Looks looks killer, man. Here's the other side. The uh, front lines were a little bit harder than the uh, than the rears because they're a bit of a bit harder to get to. But see, they're right they're right over here. Where where the fuck is my hand? Yeah, they're right right over here. Anyway, like I said, you're not you're not gonna do this yourself. Um, you're gonna want a professional to do it for you. Um, there, it, it's complicated. Take it, take it, taking the caliper off, doing all this stuff. I mean, let let somebody else do it for you. It's not a, you know, it's it's not for everybody, unless you know what the hell you're doing and you got skills bleeding brakes, then go for it. But other than that, like I said again, let the pros do it. So yeah, man, everything's looking great. Um, thumbs up, big thumbs up to uh, racing brakes for uh, providing me a really nice kit that fit perfectly you know like i always say that aftermarket shit just don't fit right well these fit excellently and uh yeah let's go ahead and bleed the brakes and go out for a ride see how it goes all right boys and girls we are all done there it is finished product Everything came together great. We bled out the system. Now, the only thing that's left to do is to take it for a ride. We're going to break in the uh break in the pads and the rotors like they want us to. Where did that sheet go? Oh shit. Sheet's not there. Okay. Well, anyway, you get a uh you get a little booklet saying uh, how they want you to break it in. So I'm going to follow that and uh, I'm going to break these puppies in. I'm going to drive them for a couple of days and I'm going to give you uh, my honest opinion on what I think about this setup. So far, so good. Everything came together wonderfully. They look killer. Um, let's just hope they perform well because, uh, you know... I thought I was going to save a little bit more than 16 pounds or whatnot. So, yeah, get back to you on the next one. What's good? So, let's um Let's talk about them rotors, shall we? Get yourself a smoothie, bro. You know what I mean? Stop playing them Pokemon games. And uh, let's talk about them breaks. Whew, man. I got to gather my thoughts. I'm tired. Had a sick cardio session this morning. 10 miles, running, walking. Caught me a shit ton of Pokemon. I bet I got more than you. Mm-hmm. I swear, that game is fun as fuck. Um, I do cardio outside a lot, and that just helps pass the time, which is really cool. I think it's, like, one of the coolest games they ever made for, like, the phones and shit. So. All right. Let's talk about the brakes, man. A little dusty in here. 
Uh, where did, what the fuck did we do? It's been a while. It's been a while. Stainless steel. Let's talk about the stainless steel lines. So, swapped out for the stainless steel lines, and to my surprise, um, it really wasn't that noticeable. You know, usually, especially I'm on on like my motorcycles. You get stainless steel lines, and man, the the responsiveness, the you know how little you gotta push the pedal, the you know the, the lever, to get the thing to stop is just unbelievable. Here, it's personally you won't notice. Me, I I noticed it's it's a tiny bit stiffer, tiny bit more responsive, tiny bit more. How should I say? just takes a little takes a little less to get the car to stop you know so pretty much stainless steel lines for performance wise it's not really much of a difference but for reliability wise um it's huge difference you want stainless steel lines because they're not gonna fucking you know crack on you and shit you lose your braking system possibly crash because the rubber lines sometimes do that especially if you're tracking your shit if you're tracking your gtr you got that ridiculous amount of heat and your uh, gtr is going through some serious uh some serious heat cycling i mean those lines can fail stainless steel lines won't fail so it's kind of like a safety thing also to upgrade your lines to stainless steel you know, like I said, you can buy whatever the fuck kind of lines you want. Just make sure they're good quality. Anyway. Racing brake rotors and brake pads. So. You all saw before, we got those things installed. And I've been driving them for about... five days now and let's start from the beginning breaking them in so that black shit that's on the rotors i don't know what the fuck that shit is but it don't come off very easily i went to go break it in as they described and when you go to do that you know stick to the more you know it says six to eight normal stops. Well, do the eight, maybe even more. You know, it says me. It says I forget what it says. Two or three or four hard brakes from fifty-five miles an hour. We'll do four from fifty-five miles an hour, and I'm talking hard as fuck brakes, cause they don't um, they you don't stop like it's crazy. I kind of freaked out from the beginning because when i started breaking them in 55 miles an hour first when i started breaking them in oh my god the fucking noise they were making shit was squeaking all over the place i was like oh boy this is gonna this is gonna be a fucking nightmare if this is gonna stay the way it is you know with the noise but then i was like i'm breaking them in don't freak out then from 55 miles an hour i smashed the fucking brakes and the car's not stopping it's just fucking rolling. Finally stops. Oh my god. I'm like, oh, this better not. Better not be how it's gonna be. And I did that four times, let the car cool off, cool. Um, and then for about you know five days, I've been driving it around pretty normal, nothing too crazy. And I gotta say, day by day, the the pads and rotors are getting better and better. Like the second day was when that black shit completely came off the rotor and now you could see the full full steel on the rotor. Um the noise went completely away, but let, let's talk about let's talk about that. Let's talk about the brake pads. So the noise went completely away. Now, they're not totally silent. You get these weird fucking moments of where you're going to hear squeaking here and there. 
and it's not at normal driving normal driving normal stopping like little little you know little little pressure and then you're just stopping especially when you're going around town and shit which is kind of important because everybody you know you're slow rolling it everybody's staring at you and shit you know and you got that you got that brake pedal a little bit you know a little with your pinky so you see so you slow roll it through the crowds no noise thank god because sick car, everybody's looking at you. You don't want your shit to be. No, <laughs> definitely not. So thank God at low speeds, there's absolutely zero noise. Now, when do you hear noise? When you start braking fucking hard, start to squeak. Weird. Usually when you're braking hard, pads don't squeak. But these do. Like, they squeak a little bit when you start breaking them, when you're breaking real hard. And, I don't know, that's what I've noticed. I've noticed them, you know, being a little noisy when you're breaking extremely hard. And they're not noisy when you're just driving around town, around town normal, which is kind of what we want. That's, that's really what we want. You know, we want to be all ballers and shit running around with our GTR is fucking slow rolling it through the crowds as everybody's staring at us and the brakes are nice and quiet so you can hear them exhaust notes and the turbos and shit for the folks around that are fucking eyeballing you and uh, yeah and I mean rotors Besides losing their black look, they're good. I mean, everything stops good. Rotors look good. Um, you know, I love the slotted rotors. I don't. I'm not a particular. I'm not particularly a fan of. Uh, you know, drilled. I like slotted rotors. And these are these are nice rotors. So this was a good purchase for me from um, Racing Brakes. You know, I like I like their uh, I like the rotor. I like the brake pads, even though they're not hundred percent quiet. They're quiet when I need them to be, which is very important. Um, stopping power is great. Dusting very minimal which is fucking fantastic dusting is very minimal um i've been driving for five days and i could still and i still see my wheels um black like my wheels are still black like gloss black i don't see a lot of dust and mind you i've went through the braking period and i've been driving and i haven't washed them yet and they're still pretty damn good I'll show you when I cut the shit out, just to let you guys see what they look like um, when they're all broken in and stuff. So, uh, what else to talk about? Um, right. Is it worth buying? If you're if you're looking for better rotors, better brake pads, and your stock shit or whatever you have on the car is on its way out, yeah, this is a great buy. Do you buy it when your shit's brand new like me? No, well, you kind of need to ask yourself, do you care if the aluminum, if the if you have a steel hat instead of aluminum in the rear and it rusts, do you give a shit? If you don't give a shit, well, I don't know what happens if you don't give a shit. But anyway, if you give a shit, then yeah, swapping out for, you know, aluminum hat with a, with a nicer rotor, especially one that weighs a lot less, is better. The fronts, there really isn't much of a difference except for just better, better rotor wheel um, because it's slotted instead of drilled. Um, and, I mean, they're just two pounds lighter and the rears are about 
I think six pounds lighter they were. So I was expecting to lose a little bit more weight, to be honest, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm happy with my purchase. I really am. Um, I really got no complaints. I mean, I've got the only the only thing that I just feel like I would have liked more from this purchase would be my rotors to weigh less. Like the fronts, I would have liked to shave at least four pounds of rotor, and the rears. Technically, they're advertised as, you know, shaving seven pounds instead of six. But, you know, I weighed in on my scales, and my scales are fucking accurate as hell. So I only lost six. So I would have liked to, I would have liked to have lost more weight off the fucking rotors. But, I mean, it is what it is. The, the next, the next best thing is carbon ceramics, but... The problem is the price. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to talk about that right now. Um, so, yeah, race and brakes, great job. Um, love the rotors, love the pads. They work and do everything that I wanted them to do. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. And if you're looking for, you know, the uh, same type of uh, rotor upgrade, and brake upgrade you can go right ahead and um order these because they're pretty sound pretty good quality pretty good product um they look great they work and you shave a little bit of weight so you can't go wrong there plus everything's black and you know the wheels black and stuff mixes in with like especially the way my the way my shit looks because everything's black and stuff so i mean it, it looks great looks great works great I can't complain. I mean, uh, pretty, pretty nice. It's getting hot in this bitch. <clears throat> Some goddamn smoothies melting. So, what's next on the agenda for breaks? Well, it won't happen now, but in the future, I will have carbon ceramics on this car, but I'm not going to pay anywhere near 10 grand for all four corners. I like how fucking people parking on my property. You know, that kind of shit makes me want to tow people's fucking cars. Uh, anyway, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, I'm gonna have carbon ceramic rotors on my on my on my on this car. I could have done this now, but I would have not had my car for at least two three weeks. I'm going to purchase um, the uh, those zero one rotors. I could get them for about a thousand to eleven hundred bucks a pop. I'm going to make hats for them. Got a boy that's gonna machine me fucking aluminum hats for him. It's gonna fit this car. My boy's gonna machine out the fucking uh, the the caliper so them bitches can fit. And I'm going to have all of this done for, oh, I'm going to get special brake pads, obviously, for the carbon ceramic rotors. So pads, rotors, new hats that I'm going to have fabricated, and the fucking uh, modifying the, uh, the caliper. That's going to come out to be about a little over five grand for me. The reason why I didn't do this now was because I didn't want to fuck with it. That's a big pain in the ass for me personally right now. Um, you know, this kind of shit I would do like in the winter when my car is just not mobile. I don't go anywhere because it's, you know, I don't drive this car. I'm not going to drive this car in the winter. So I'm going to do that, you know, someday. But 
that's the plan. If, again, no company comes out and says, hey, we'll sell you all four corners with brake pads for like six, seven grand. That requires zero modifications to the calipers. I'm not paying you seven thousand dollars if I'm fucking if I'm gonna need to modify my calipers. That shit should not happen. There's one kit on the market right now. I forget the I forget the name. I think it's YP Pro. Think. Jim, fuck me, Jim. Yeah, I think Jim over at Vivid Racing, me and him talked about that shit. Um, that kit, supposedly really good, you could get it for 10 grand, but shit bolts right in and you're done. It's kind of what you want. This whole modifying of the caliper shit, not, not cool. You don't like seriously. You don't have. You don't. You don't pay that kind of money to modify your shit. Like when you pay him that kind of money, everything needs to be suited for you, not for the fucking for the calipers you're buying. So it's a big problem with these fucking carbon ceramics. And like I said, I could do it, and I will at some point. But right now, I'm really happy with what I got, and it's fine. Like I said, maybe in a year, shit will change. But if it doesn't, that's going to be the plan. Because, like I said, guys, it's not worth the performance. You're you're paying ten thousand dollars. You could, I could build my fucking motor for less than that. That's a bigger turbo upgrade. That's so. That's a tra That's a transmission. That's so much shit to do to the car that'll make you faster than you ever were with those fucking carbon ceramics okay they they don't do much for you you know you think like oh I shaved all this weight but you know in all reality it really it's not it's not much it only helps those cars that have crazy power that's when you really start to notice it and you know a guy with a Nismo that has carbon ceramics on it Versus a guy on a, you know, that put 10 grand with full bolt-ons and shit. The fucking full bolt-on guy will blow the fucking doors off of you. And disappear. Know what I'm saying? Ugh, so fuck it. That shit will wait. So, did we cover everything? I think we did. Like I said, please do this at a professional shop to bleed your brakes out properly. Because me and dad bled them bitches out for about half an hour. Going from one side to the other side to the other side. Side, 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 side. Fucking bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. Getting all the air out. And it, it's, it's a process. Make sure you go to somebody that knows what the fuck they're doing. Because like I said, air in your brake system is going to, your brakes aren't going to perform. And it's just dangerous. So go somewhere where they know what the hell they're doing. And yeah, happy with my purchase once again. I'm going to tell you, good. it was a good buy. So far, so good five days of driving the car around and I like it. It's good. Um, the most important thing that I forgot to fucking mention. <sighs> now it's cold. <clears throat> Those Hawk pads, remember those Hawk pads that I installed on my stock shit? Those carbon ceramic Hawk pads? They're garbage. They're so awful. Um, I've heard 
that Hawk doesn't really make good brake pads. But I've really never, you know, I couldn't really talk shit because I've never tried them. Now that I've tried them on the car, they are absolute and utter garbage. I threw those things in the fucking garbage. Like, I would not even sell them to my worst enemy. Um, the pad was okay for a couple of days, and then something happened. I don't know what it was. The stopping, the stop, the braking power was off, awful, and they started to make so much noise, it was deafening. I can't, I can't really explain to you why that was, but never buy Hawk pads, especially the ones that I bought. Those Hawk Carbon Ceramics, do not ever buy those pads because they are fucking god-awful and should be destroyed off the face of this fucking earth. So yeah, that's all, I, that's, that's it. I'm done. That's all I had to say. Got it all covered. Um, that's it. Um, my, my weight reduction journey has most likely finished. I've successfully shaved off a little over a hundred pounds off this car. And guys, we still have downpipes that we didn't change out. And that's gonna, that's gonna be another 20 pounds off the car. So I pretty much have done it. I'm done. Next, um, next thing on the, on the agenda is going to be, uh, tuning and, uh, you know, downpipes and tuning and then all the other custom shit that I'm getting fabricated, but that's going to take a while, you know, uh, we'll see what happens cause you know, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything now, but you know, the stuff that I want made, you know, it's going to be made one way or the other. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, hopefully, hopefully I'll get my downpipes in time for tuning. Well, I better get my downpipes in, in time for tuning. So the titanium, the custom titanium ones that I'm getting made right now, the 3.5 inch, I better get those before, you know, my tuner gets here because uh, I need them. And you're going to see another video on um, the fuel upgrade and the tuning software we bought and all that stuff. So a lot of, a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff uh, coming. So we're going to see, uh, we're going to see what she makes, you know, and all that stuff. So anyway, stay tuned as usual. We're not, we're definitely not stopping here. Um, Everything's rolling along, rolling along, but you know my video uploads are probably going to be less frequent because I've pretty much done all I can, and now it's up to other people to uh, provide me with stuff for you know f for upgrading for continuing to upgrade the car. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's it. So, y'all have a good day. Yeah. Continue your Pokemon adventures and uh, stay safe. I'm gonna jump out the car and videotape some of the uh, some of the rotors and stuff, how they look broken in. So, peace out. Later. So here's the uh, here's the fronts, guys. As you can... oh, what the fuck, man? I swear to God, people see this car, all they want to do is show off. Anyway, here's the fronts, guys. Check out the uh, check out the rim. Look how clean the thing is. That's that's break-in period for the rotors and the pads, and this is about five days of driving. So this is pretty fucking fantastic. Um, 
there's the pad and there's the uh, there's the broken in rotor I think personally I think it looks pretty damn good what do you think you know that beautiful fucking black hat right on there oh man I see my Gucci through the fucking wheels man the reflection And here's the rears. Again, tire really, really clean, isn't it? And uh, yeah, that's how that's how the rears look. Again, that beautiful black hat on there. Pads are right there. So yeah pretty damn pretty damn cool looking right so that's it guys cutting out later